Hello everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon. Time for us to move on to Celestic Town, north end of Route 210. Obviously now that we have Defog and since he has given us some medicine, we can now make our way this way. Uh, no new Pokemon realistically that we want to catch here. Uh, obviously if you guys want to power up, feel free to. What are you doing, Sadduck? Get out of the way. Come on, let me move! Let me move! The old charm, we're going to deliver this to a lady up in the town. Spoiler alert! <laughs> uh, Team Galactic is planning on setting up a bomb up there, which is all kind of crazy. Uh, so we want to make sure we get around the edges here. There should be, yeah, Ninja Boy right there, look. You can see the little lump in the grass. Now, the Northeast area should get a free uh, Ultra Ball. I don't, know how, I don't know how much Ultra Balls we need. We probably should have some for the for the legendaries and stuff. But realistically, uh, Quick Balls and Repeat Balls or Dust Balls are going to be the way to go for most of the game. So, we don't really need much else other than that. Let's put the Geodude down. Now, my, my Pokemon will be up a few levels from the last uh, episode. I'm trying to go down into the underground and keep an eye on um, on Gibble's spawn location because I want to know the earliest that we can get him uh, from the underground because, um, basically, if we can get it earlier than, than expected and at a better level, that will be handy, just for people to know, I believe. So, I'm trying to keep an eye on that in between in between episodes, we we'll go down there, basically trying to get spawns for like 10-15 minutes. Um, I've got one Gibble, st uh, one Garchomp statue, so that does raise uh, the likelihood of it spawning slightly, which is good. <coughs> it just means that if it is available there, it should be spawning. Hyper Potion. Since that, we want to continue. I think it's northeast. We should get a Ultra Ball up, here, up this way somewhere. Hello, Ponyta! Keep you up. Okay, I sense this is going to be one of those episodes where the cleanse tag is good. Uh, so I've just given that to Gardevoir and stuck it at the top of the pie. Uh, we obviously selected this way early, but basically, if your Pokemon is higher level than the ones around you, then you'll get less encounters. So, should we continue a little No, that's not where we want to be. Let's try over here. Here we are. Ultra Ball! Now, if you guys want to go around looking for hidden items, uh, on the left hand side, there will be a full heal and a burn heal. I'm not too, uh, not too bothered about it. You'll need to use your dials and machines to get a proper location on them. But, uh, well, we can we can definitely be doing with. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Sorry. I want this now. Whoops. No! No! <laughs> Now it can be through. Woohoo! Way easier. I mean, if you've memorized your way through, maybe you can get through this pretty easy. Ninja Kid. Got the Naruto headband on and everything's just in red instead of yellow. <laughs> or black, I suppose. Come on then, Zubat. Uh, I believe you keep your poison type right? So that will mean... I got four. Okay, I'm gonna skip this kid. Okay, several poison Pokemon later. Uh, Scroopy, two Zubats, and Golbat. I guess you could say it's a note, but uh, nothing, nothing threatening there. Another honey tree for those who want to be using them already, but uh, for now, I'm good without them. Uh, so in the foggy area, there is something that we want to make sure we grab. Which is Shadow Ball. Now, technically, Gengar can learn it on its own, but I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, God, here, Penta. Let's 
Side beam! I never used hypnosis. I don't know why I have it. I feel like it goes best with Dream Eater, but it doesn't hit well enough for me. It should be fine. Technically, would have switched to Sizer for this. Maybe I should have. Aerial Ace would have been much stronger. But uh, it's not going there. I have, of course, switched um, the trail for my new because I feel like it's a better idea to level up a catchy Pokemon for now. The team is looking after itself, it doesn't need Luxray carrying it. Uh, where is it going to be? It's not down there. It's supposed to be across some logs. I mean, we should be fine. We're going to go first and just one shot them anyway. Realistically, though, probably wouldn't do this. What? Yeah, I'm not going to be just going to hit Gyarados very well. Let's not be stupid here. Uh, it is flying water, so... <laughs> Electrify says, uh, hi! Take me up now, if we have a hold your piece. It was going to take two turns anyway. It was pointless having the Inferno take loads of water damage, which I assume is what's going to come my way now. Yeah, see? How about no? We could have gone a different way and like had Infernape attack the Raichu. But I feel like this is the proper way. This is what you should do. <laughs> so these guys drop a lot of money. 26k. Oops, one thing. So I like repeating these, so I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, so, with those done twice, uh, we're gonna move on. Gotta have that cash, right? Moola. Right. Motim. I think I've seen you before. It's obviously bug type, but uh and what? What's the book fly? Those book poison had taken less damage. Whoa, that was loud. Stop bigging at me phone. What was that? Onyx. Yeah, it should be fine. Cybeam! You have great physical defense. However, your special is lacking. Luxio. E e no. Did I give something a ground move? I thought I gave something a ground move. Guess not. Might as well stick with you. Must give physical attack boost. Probably shouldn't give this to Electivire. Like Did the bike bit first. This is like a dead endy thing that will come back across. 
Hello, Ninja Boy. I'm so sorry, but it's like, you've never been here before. You don't know what the Pokemon's like. Well, I'm never going to remember all of these. <laughs> That's all I have to say to you on that matter. Uh, this one, I believe, is Bug Poison. This could be bad for me. Oh well, my god, everyone else to just say. But, um... We should be able to hit so overwhelmingly hard, it shouldn't matter. Because God of War is an animal. Oh, it's infected. Maybe it's... Oh yeah, of course, bug poison. Mm -hmm. It's infected against the poison. <laughs> Although I, thought, I would have thought the poison would have... Must be bug flying. No, poison flying. I don't know, sometimes the typings catch me out. Hello, smash through here. Shadow Ball! I could use this on Gengar now. Or wait for it to limit. I might wait for it to limit, then I've got a spare. Right the way. Need Waterfall to get that down there, in case you didn't notice. So much stuff for us to clear out once we actually get to the end of the game. And there are things we could clear out now, because we've obviously got things like Cut and Fly. Um, we don't have uh, strength outside of battle yet, which is why I haven't done a location video for that. I feel like that's when people are going to look for it. Um, but yes. Many things to get. <laughs> I get to pick what I want to kill you with. I haven't taken any damage, there's no point using Drain Kiss. I find it quite funny. These big burly guys are weak to a kiss. God of War delivers the sweetest of those kisses. Right. Electivire still crushing his way up. Down we go, Ninja Boy. So poor you. Sabim is also not your friend. Hey, hey, infinite levels up. Very nice. Smoke ball. Brood Pokemon. Come on, what you got? What you got? What you got? Mmm. Hoot hoot. Yeah, whatever you like, I suppose. God, that's really aggressive. <laughs> I think it's Nasty Plot that I need for you. Isn't it? We get that later in the uh, Galactic Base. It's basically a special version of Sword Stance. Uh, not Tau. I guess uh, next if I can have that. Come on, my boy! Surprised, you say? Weasel. Hmm. 
feel like you should have way stronger moves than that. Um, well, hey, let's just use Sidebeam because it's our most numerous move. We should probably put that at the top, at the top like reorder some of the moves a little bit, but... I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a strange level of not, like, I'm being lazy to the point where it's hurting me. Giraffe Rig, we have got review, so we know draining kiss will work. Kiss that cute giraffe. I'm surprised that lived. You basically do nothing. I guess we can recover that little bit of damage we took. Can go off the win. Doing well up there. It's fragile, but uh, it'll do good special damage. Berries. We have arrived at Celestic Town. Time to spare, no less. Uh, top left building. I don't know why I'm in the top right building. Top left building. I don't think this gives us anything at all. Um, it's the, the, gl the glueiness of the doors sometimes catches me out. Top left building gives um, extra special Pokeballs. Um... Why do I remember repeat balls here? Is it you? Yes! Uh, so we've got balls, so the later it is in the battle, the better that'll do. Dusk balls. Why, do I, why did I think there was repeat balls here? Maybe it changes each day. Interesting. I literally got repeat balls here yesterday on my... on my pearl. Hmm. Black glasses, thank you. Should be wise glasses somewhere as well. In here. Uh, where did I find those? Oh, yeah. That's weird. Why did I get different glasses? I got wise glasses from that guy yesterday. Hmm. That's strange. Must change. Let's have a quick look around. Unlock watch poker. Poker chap. Okay, sure. Not that we really need it. This little encounter shouldn't take long here. This is kind of where the story starts, if I'm, if I'm honest. Where uh, we actually start seeing what Galactica are doing and we start like infiltrating the base and stuff. I'm sorry, boy. Uh, Soak down the middle now that we've healed. I didn't realize we couldn't get down the sides. Deal with you. So the way the glasses work is, if you go in there in the morning, you'll get choice specs. In the day, you'll get black glasses. In the night, you'll get wise glasses, and that's why why I got wise glasses the last night yesterday. Okay, cool. Worth knowing. Sidebeam.
<laughs> Let's get in there and stop that bomb. I believe we get Surf now, but we can't use it outside of battle until we defeat the Dicegen. So we go inside. It's a little mural about three Pokemon. Are there any hidden items here? We'll check anyway. No. No, checked all these before, but anyway. <laughs> Hello, this guy. He's not even that tough. It's, uh, <laughs> so when we actually finally face him, like properly, at the end of the game, or at the end of his storyline, I guess you'd say, it ends up being his uh, subordinates that are tough. Which, yes, makes sense. Uh, now, so to continue chasing him, I think we have to go, yes, down this way. So now we have to go to the base, which is a whole thing of its own. Oh, Fantina. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, gym lady's back. Yay, we can do the gym now. Yay. That needs to be its own episode. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Anything else we can do right now, then? Don't think there is. Well, that didn't take as long as I thought it did. I thought it was going to... don't know why. I thought this uh, this route would be long, but it's not too bad. Uh, loads of different ways into this route thing here, by the way. Uh, we can use this now to pass across. I don't think we can go up until we get Surf, so we need to get Surf available. Which... Yes, we do soon. I'm trying to remember. What did we do things in? But anyway, down we go. Yeah. Then Hot Home City for Gym, then we do te Team Galactic Base, yes. And I've got the look through the pads done, then we go to Coronet, that's it. Do I need to heal? Not really. It's a Ghost Gym, so Dark type is going to be good here, Psychic type is going to be good here. And that's pretty much it. So, hopefully this has been fun for you guys, and we'll uh, continue in the next episode.